Welcome back to Story Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie, Houdini, released in the year 2014. The movie starts with showing a magician, who can escape from inside any prison or vault. The name of this magician is Harry Houdini. One day, Houdini was about to jump off a bridge, tied with an iron chain. He used to escape death by performing such deadly stunts every time. He jumped into that frozen lake, and thousands of people on the bridge, were just looking at him in amazement. After this, we are shown the story of 17 years ago, here Houdini came with his wife Bess, to show magic at the brothels of prostitutes. Bess announced in front of everyone present, that she would handcuff Houdini and lock her in a box, after which Houdini would release the handcuffs in her hands, and come out of the closed box, but a man present here started saying, that your handcuffs are fake, but Houdini was no less, he said that he is fully ready to do this feat by wearing any handcuffs. The man accidentally turned out to be a cop, and put a real handcuff on Houdini's hand. After putting on his handcuffs, Houdini turned back, and cleverly freed himself with the help of a needle. Seeing this, all the people present there started praising him. After that day, Houdini became famous in the whole of America as the player of the biggest dangers, he used to show in his shows not only by handcuffs, rather also by releasing himself from iron chains. Actually, Houdini wanted to become a magician since childhood, and he used to earn some money by doing small magic. His mother was very happy with his work, but his father did not like all this at all. So Houdini left home with his brother, and set out for fame on his own. Both brothers by showing magic in the fair, took care of himself and his mother. A few years later, Houdini saw Bess dancing in a show, and since then he became crazy about her, and later, Houdini even made Bess ready to work with him. From that day both of those countries went abroad, and started doing magic work for the rich. On the other hand, Houdini's brother was also earning money from people by copying Houdini's own feet. Seeing this, Houdini decided to do some such stunts, which no one can even think of copying. After this, Houdini and Bess go to a famous prison, and meet the warden there. Houdini asks the warden to imprison himself, but the warden said, that I can only put the criminals in prison. Hearing this, Houdini started making fun of his prison. Houdini said that he would easily escape from this prison. For this he also put a bet of $100 from the warden here. Seeing this, the warden got very angry, and he got angry and put Houdini in prison. Actually, Houdini wanted to become famous soon by doing this new stunt. Bess kissed Houdini before leaving here. Seeing this, the warden suspected that he had not caught any pin in his mouth, but nothing happens in Houdini's mouth. After everyone had gone, Houdini took out a needle from his mouth which Bess had put in his mouth, and using it he escaped from prison in a few moments. Houdini became famous overnight with that stunt, due to which many people became crazy about him. After this, he comes again to do an even more difficult prison escape stunt, where his whole body was tied with iron chains, and there was a bandage on his face, but within 5 minutes, Houdini escaped from this prison, as if he had disappeared in the air. After doing many such stunts, he became famous all over the world as Emperor Houdini. One day, while Houdini was buying things for his show, Jim, the owner of the shop, shows him a glass box filled with water, in this box, the magician is locked by hanging upside down, after which the magician tries to get out of there, seeing this, Houdini said that he also wants to do this stunt once, to try that stunt, Houdini hanged under the water holding his breath for a few minutes, when he signaled to come out, Jim started pulling him out, but at this time the lid of the box was jammed, seeing that, everyone present here started getting very nervous, then Jim quickly with an axe broke the glass of that box, because of which Houdini avoided dying here narrowly. A few days later, Houdini was going to do the same stunt in front of the people in his show, he said that if he failed to get out of the water, a man would quickly take an axe, and break the glass of the box, after this, Houdini was hung upside down and put inside the box, and a curtain was put around it. After a few minutes, when Houdini did not make any movement from inside, then seeing this, all the people present here started nervousness, and their heartbeat started getting faster, then a man came here, who broke the glass of that box with an axe, when that man turned back, everyone came to know that he is Houdini, people had seen such a wonderful feat for the first time, so all the people present here started clapping for him, one day, hearing the news about Houdini, an agent from the US called him to himself, the agent had come to know from some investigation, that Houdini had come here by crossing the border illegally, and he is living in this city in an illegal way, by fooling the people, but fortunately Houdini met Sir William. William was a British secret agent, he asked Houdini to live legally in the city by making fake papers, and in return, entrusted him with the task of bringing intelligence to his enemy countries UK and US. On his mission, Houdini comes to Germany to show magic to a Kaiser family, where he stuns everyone with his feat of catching a gunshot. After this, he gave the intelligence found in the Kaiser family house, to a man of William. A few days later, Houdini was sent to Russia on a similar mission. Here he asked everyone to write their wishes on a paper, everyone present here wrote their wishes on that paper, and a girl from his house picked up one paper of them, 
It was written in that paper that she wants to hear the Kremlin bell ringing, on hearing this, everyone present here starts laughing, because Kremlin bell had never rang for the last hundred years. But Houdini started showing her wonder here, he took out a rope, and as soon as the girl pulled that rope, the Kremlin bell started ringing, seeing this awesome artwork of Houdini, all the people present here got down on their knees. The next day Houdini meets William, and informs him about the intentions of the Russian, William is very pleased with his work, and he asks Houdini how did you ring that bell. Houdini told that whatever he had to do there, he had already planned everything, he deliberately placed the paper he had made in front of the girl, and as soon as the girl pulled that rope, Houdini's friend Jim fired at the Kremlin bell, due to which the bell started ringing. William tells Houdini to go to Germany, to extract intelligence from there. After this, the scene sifts in Germany. Houdini is locked in a safe in front of them, to show the stunt to the people of Germany and the officers here, inside which he can only hold his breath for 10 minutes. Everyone present here was thinking, that Houdini is locked inside the safe, but in reality he was not in the safe, rather he was entering an office there, and stealing some important documents from there, but then suddenly an officer comes to the office with a woman, seeing this, Houdini has to quickly hide in the vault present here. Officer sees the safe slightly open, so he locks that safe completely, although, Houdini was an expert in opening locks, but now he was also starting to panic, he thought here in his mind that he is the world's greatest magician, Harry Houdini. He remembered here, how many noises had come while locking the safe, and within a few minutes, he opened all the locks of this safe and freed himself, Houdini gave all the documents to William, and then he went straight to the stage. Coming on stage, he gave his wife Bess a gift for the 10th wedding anniversary, but Bess did not like that gift at all. After the show, an argument broke out between them. Actually, Bess did not like Houdini to put his life in danger, but Houdini said, that he takes great pleasure in showing people such dangerous stunts. One day, Houdini's eyes fall on the ice lying in a glass, seeing that, he decided to do his next magic with this. After this, he went and lay down in the bathtub, and he told Jim to fill the whole bathtub with ice, he started practicing his next stunt by staying in the snow. After this the story comes to the same place, from where the story started. Standing on the bridge, Houdini was about to jump into that frozen lake, after he jumped, everyone was just looking at him in amazement. Houdini untied all his chains and handcuffs in a few moments under the cold water, after finishing his artwork, he was about to get out of the water, but then the strong current of water turned him astray, he was looking for a way out, that's when he started seeing his mother here. Following his mother's gestures, Houdini escapes from the frozen lake safely. Seeing her husband doing such a dangerous and deadly stunt, Bess was getting upset day by day, due to which, their fights started increasing day by day between them. Houdini gets angry and leaves from here, but after some time, he comes back and apologizes to Bess for his behavior. Houdini promises Bess, that from now on he will do safe stunts. After this, Houdini does not put himself in danger in his next show, and makes a big elephant disappear in the air in front of the people. Seeing this, all the people present here applauded him a lot, and people also liked this feat of his. After this, British agent asked Houdini to go to Europe again to collect some necessary information, but Houdini now refuses to work, but that British agent does not listen to him, and says that this is a very important work, which only you can do. Now even without wanting, Houdini has to go to Europe to show magic in front of Sir Arthur. Houdini stunned everyone by going across a brick wall here. After the show, Arthur met Houdini and praised her a lot, but shortly after, Jim comes to her with a letter which read, that her mother has died. Upon reading the letter, Houdini faints and falls down, but Bess quickly comes up to him and picks him up. Houdini says, that he wants to see his mother one last time. Thereafter, Houdini arrives to meet his mother at her funeral. After a few days, Houdini again came to Sir Arthur's house, and here he meets Arthur's wife Doyle. Doyle claims here that she can talk to Houdini's mother's spirit, only then an astrologer comes here, when he sees Houdini's hand, then he says that Houdini is going to die soon, but he does not pay much attention to her words, and he sits in a room with Doyle to talk to his mother's spirit. Suddenly Doyle took a pencil and started writing something on the paper, seeing that it seemed, that the spirit of Houdini's mother was getting him to write all this. Seeing this, Houdini was very happy and thanked Doyle, but later when he read that paper carefully, he realized, that Doyle is also a fake like the rest of the hypocrites, because English was written in one place on that paper, while her mother did not know English, and today was Houdini's birthday, which her mother could never forget. Now getting angry with that thing, Houdini exposed the truth of Doyle and Sir Arthur, to the people in one of his interviews. After this, Houdini met a tantric in Boston whose name was Marjorie. That too turned out to be fake like the rest of the tantrics, due to which Houdini also revealed his secret to everyone. Now in anger, Marjorie comes to Houdini's room to woo her, but to no avail. On his way from here, he told Houdini that you will die soon, after which, we tantrics will make your soul dance on our gestures. In his next show, Houdini was about to come out of a box full of water, he had done this stunt many times before, but this time he broke a bone in his leg. 
After this doctor asked him to rest, but Houdini did not want to rest, he reached his next show with his broken leg, here suddenly a man attacked Houdini for speaking out against Doyle, Houdini was moaning in pain, but when asked he didn't tell Jim and Bess a word about it. After this, when he went to do his next show, Houdini suddenly fainted on the stage, seeing this Jim immediately called an ambulance here, Houdini was quickly taken to the hospital. Doctor saw here that Houdini's condition is very critical, and he will hardly be able to survive. Soon the news that Houdini is ill spread like a fire in the whole city, and Bess started receiving letters for Houdini from every corner of the world. Seeing this, Bess's eyes became moist, and she realized that her husband was doing a great job, by bringing smile on the faces of the people. But fortunately, Houdini died soon after, and even at the last moment she could see her mother. The whole world mourned the death of the great magician Houdini, at the end of the story, we saw that now Bess was trying to talk to Houdini's soul by going to a tantric. And with this the movie ends at this.